I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Hi guys, I'm Claude. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be reading Exciting Times by Noise Dolan. This is the book. My boyfriend bought it a few months ago and he read it. We're going to be reading these. I'm going to give you my first impressions. I'm going to be talking about it as I read. I heard good things about this book on BookTok, so I'm not sure what my expectations are. Starting with the cover, I have to say that I really like it. It has different textures and the design of it is really cool. It gives me a vintage aesthetic. I'm going to start reading it and I will take you along. I just finished reading the first five pages. I have mixed feelings about it just because there are some words that I still don't understand because I think that the writing of this book is like kind of my first impression of it. It's like, wow, there are so many words that I don't get or so many sentences that I cannot guess. As a native Spanish speaker, it can be challenging to read, but for now, I understood that there are two people that encounter themselves to go to dinner. You get to know where they are from and we learn that he is older than her anyways i'm going to swap sofas because the other one is way comfortable to read let's start chapter two <laughs> I just turned on the AC and you saw what happened. You saw it. Let's pretend it didn't happen and keep reading. I've been reading for about one and a half hours. I'm in the beginning of chapter Seven. The layout of the book, it's really nice, like it's really easy to read. It's different from a romance. I don't really know if this turns into romance. The thing is, I dived into the book without knowing what is it about. At the moment, I don't really know how to describe it. Actually, because the man has a different personality and a different way of acting and doing things that you don't really know he does those things because of love or because it's the way he is or because it's his way of showing appreciation or because it's his values, you know? It's like so confusing at first. We will get there. Right now I'm going to make lunch. I will catch up with you when I read again. Exciting times. <laughs> It's nighttime, that's why the light is like not good. I will start where I left it, which is part 7, December. So I just finished part 9. To be honest, I just think that Julian is a really materialistic guy that loves money and has money. I don't really know what's the direction of it, but so far I'm enjoying it. It's not boring and I still want to keep on reading. And yeah, there are some quotes that I like. One of them is, moms are important. There are some cute quotes and nice sentences. I really like that. I like that they are on Christmas time right now, which is exciting. Anyways, I will continue reading tomorrow on my way to work i will update you when i can good morning i'm going to work i'm going to go to the public transport right now that's why i'm wearing a mask and keep on reading another day i've been reading this book for i think two to three days now and i'm on page 95 you're hearing my cat in the background playing as always because he does that in every single video for now i'm still waiting for i don't know i i I started the book with no expectations, so I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I feel like something is going to happen. I don't really know when or how it's going to happen. But yeah, for now we met a new character, which is called Edith. Well, I like her better than Victoria, for example. I don't really like her that much. Yeah, and also I don't know if I like Ava because she is like so dependent. Well, I don't know if she does that because she's 
comfortable there like she's comfortable doing it and she knows she's doing it she literally knows what she's doing so she's intelligent and she's not putting herself in a toxic situation on purpose or maybe she knows that it's something that might be toxic so she's just going with it what i mean is i don't know if she knows what she's doing i don't know i just don't know what's going on in the book i will keep reading a little bit more and i will update you later i'm on page 95 which is almost part 19 what i like now at the moment it's that it's november december time of the year oh no that was last chapter i'm in part two which is march Hi reading vlog, I'm with Louis and I'm about to keep on reading. Let's talk about Edith. I don't really get her, like she's so superficial and I don't really like her friendship. I think they might develop something more. Edith doesn't give me good vibrations. Julian, by the way, I don't know what to think about him. At first I was like, he only wants her because of her company, he's not in love with her, he just has a lot of money and he's using it. He feels alone. He's like a sugar daddy for her kind of situation. But then I don't really know anymore because it's so confusing. He left. I don't really know what his intentions are. I don't really know what his feelings are. At the same time, they have conversations that I'm like, I don't know what to think about it because there's two personalities of the same person. Julian is like two people in one. Sometimes he's like, great and he's loving and like it seems like he wants something more but then sometimes he's like cold and money driven so i don't really know what he wants but anyways i'm going to keep on reading for about an hour i'm on chapter 27 one thing about this book that i really like is that the chapters are short so you can read a lot like for me it's better because it motivates myself to keep on reading it's like easier for me overall it's a fast read like you can read this in two days if you wanted to i'm having fun trying to think what's going on but i basically came to the conclusion that ava which is the main character she's explaining us her life she's dealing with so much and she's just flowing through life and seeing what life brings her. So yeah, let's keep on reading. So I'm in chapter 30. I'm going to stop reading for now because I have to make lunch like i'm so confused i'm happy that she realized what she realized i'm not going to spoil it but i'm so happy for her she's having like an internal fight there's a quote that i really like it says you keep describing yourself as this uniquely damaged person when a lot of it is completely normal i think you want to feel special which is fair who doesn't but you don't allow yourself to feel special in a good way you tell yourself you're specially bad which i'm realizing that noise doll has a very special way to talk about mental health. I have not read any other book by her, but subconsciously you're reading about mental health and you're learning about things like that. And I think that quote is on point with a lot of people's feelings and I can relate to it. I'm going to make lunch. I hope you're enjoying this reading vlog. <laughs> Hi guys, it's another day. I'm going to finish the book today. I really want to know what happens and what's the point of the book. I love the style of writing it. I think it's a bit crazy what I'm going to say, but my favorite character so far, I think it's Julian. He is the one that's living like a better life. He's the one who's enjoying himself the most because Ava is like very insecure, I think, and very dependent. Right now, she's very dependent of Edith, which I don't really like her. I said it in the beginning and I still keep my opinion. Like she 
is kind of basic she's like someone i wouldn't connect with i think but for now my favorite character is julian for that just for that because he's living the better life by the way another thing i wanted to mention like this is not from the book the nails came off they were getting too long and i took them off now i don't have like cute nails let's keep on reading this close like literally this close to finish the book and i thought i will finish it with you give you my genuine reaction to the end let you know my review so let's finish the book I just finished the book i don't know what to think about everything because edit came back well into the life of ava well she always was but the end of the book was a little disappointing for me i don't like edit ava is depending on julian all the time or in edits all the time i will give the book two and a half stars the writing was nice the characters were julian was a good character he did like an evolution through the story ava did not she stayed the same from the very beginning in edit she was the same from the very beginning as well as i said my favorite one was julian i was expecting something from the very beginning of the book and i was waiting for the action to happen but it never happened until the very end like it was an action that never ended so you just are left there to imagine what happens it was kind of an average book for me so two and a half stars that's it for this vlog thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day. Bye. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Although it's been said many times, many ways.